And what I've seen people over the years in, come in and out of churches like this. They understand forgiveness and they understand moral goodness, but they don't understand free justification. They understand that if I confess my sins, I have a forgiving God, Jesus died on the cross, and I get forgiven. And now that I'm forgiven, I need to really live for him. And that's how most people think. They try hard to live like they should, and they, something makes them fail, or they just sort of fade away, and then things go wrong. They know they need God, then they come back in, and they recommit, and they ask for forgiveness. They ask for forgiveness. And they try their best to live a moral life, a good life, and then they sort of slip away, and then they have to ask for forgiveness again, and that's how they go on and on, and then they never get to this at all, that God has made himself our sin, and that we have been made his righteousness. Therefore, we are in the sight of God the Father, as is the very Son of God himself. And it is available as a gift that comes to us, it's, it, it, it lights upon us. And when we have it, it's the end of our struggle for validation, for worth, and for acceptability. Here's what will make you a Christian. Don't look at your sins, look at your boasting. Look at what you boast in. Look at the things that you are your justification. Look at the things that you look at and say, that justifies my existence. That validates me. That's what makes me worthy. See, Paul says, where is boasting? The justification by free justification destroys it. What makes you a Christian is not so much that you repent of your sins. You should repent of your sins, but that can just make you just another Pharisee. No, what makes you a Christian is you repent of your justification, your false justification, your false righteousness. Nathan Coles, 1730s and 40s, a Connecticut farmer, tells a story about how he was converted listening to the great evangelist George Whitfield, And he says, my hearing him preach gave me a heart wound and by God's blessing, my old foundation was broken up, and I saw that my righteousness could not save me. By God's grace, my old foundation was broken up, and I saw that my righteousness could not save me. That's what makes you a Christian, not just a person trying harder, confession, trying harder, confession. Because free justification is infinitely more than just pardon, but radically different than just trying harder. Have you figured this out? Have you figured out what it means to be a Christian? It's not just to repent of your sins, but to repent of your false righteousness, to repent of your false, your false justifications, to transfer your trust from that to what Jesus has done. And dear Christian friends, those of you who say, well, I do believe this, and I do understand this, and I know what free justification is. If you really, really believed in the heart of hearts what you know with your head, would you really be anxious? See, won't you admit in many of your cases, though you're a Christian, your wealth is not just your wealth. Your beauty isn't just your beauty. Your youth isn't just your youth. Your family is not just your family. They're your righteousness. But now, a perfect righteousness is revealed apart from the law and from your performance. It's a righteousness that comes upon you. It's a righteousness that, that alights on you. It's, it comes to you. And it's the end of your struggle.